Hey everybody, this is Baron Dome, and I'm here with Survivor Killer and Hermetic Lock, and they're going to give me a tour of Don Fear, which stands for Father's Gift. So right now we're standing in front of one of their main shields, and uh, they're going to show us around right now. So, welcome to the uh, 10th Don Fear. We're right outside the perimeter of it. It was griefed fairly uh, extensively by Bubba J about three hours ago, but uh, you're going to get a pretty good view of it before other people get over here and destroy it completely, hopefully. So outside over here, we've got a couple of uh, big farms and the city was situated right between two villages. And so the goal was to extend the farm between the two villages so that the villagers would start breeding and making the farm themselves. Were, uh, both, were both villages natural here or did you guys create one of them? Both villages were natural. Nice. We named one of them Cliff Town because it was situated on a cliff. Which was cool to us because we haven't seen that in 1.10 uh, yet. Let's head over there, we just sort of came through one, ta one of the villages. Oh yeah, I, I don't, let's head over to the other village. Yeah, that's fine. This uh, portal here is where uh, Bubba he flew underneath uh, the nether and he popped up somewhere using, I think it's Forge Hacks. I'm not sure what client allows you to kind of clip bedrock, but... Uh, yeah, it's the same thing they used to get into my base. Yeah. You like popped a portal up right there in the middle of your base? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Like the, uh, the cords were released and I did a world download and he was here about... 30 minutes later, it's pretty uh, ridiculous. Right. And um, one thing that I did notice, uh, one of the pic the main picture that Colts had dropped as proof that these were the cords to the base, he took a picture of the city standing in the middle of the farm, um, and the portal is 20 blo blocks from that image. So, yeah. <laughs> if we make our way up this mountain here, if we can find the way up. This is the northern region. The uh, city expanded and got so big that we had to name different parts of it just to keep track of where everything was. So, the northern region is mostly filled with different types of homes. I believe this used to be an alchemy uh, area, that building right over there. And uh, uh, if there's a way across the bridge, I don't know, we can just go around the mountain here. <laughs> the other bridge doesn't look like it got hit pretty too bad. It's a nice wall design you guys got there. Oh, yeah, thanks. Deloaded spent a large amount of time on the exterior walls because he's under the impression that uh, you can't have a city without a border. <laughs> kind of taking inspiration from uh, Trump, I suppose. But yeah, the entire city, apart from a few uh, small things, was built by a player named Deloaded. So this is the northern region. Now, fun fact, there's a spawner over here, if you go down, and uh, we didn't think that the city would ever get big enough, so there's a big pathway coming from the heart of the city over to uh, the spawner underground because we thought it would be a pain to kind of uh, walk there ourselves without a uh, tunnel to it. Let's see. If we head back over this way. We called this place the uh, capital of 2v2t, mostly uh, to clickbait kind of, to get more people to kind of check us out. <laughs> But uh, we also meant it because we felt that at the time uh, it was the most active uh, base that was building the most. And I don't know, it was kind of a uh, fun experience to live in kind of role play in a city that every time you log in, there's like new stuff there. You guys really built good with the, uh, the terrain. I like how the, the castle walls go along with it. The city, city's kind of sunk down into the, the valley. It's, mm -hmm. it's a nice area. Yeah, that's a big thing uh, that Deloaded uh, likes to do. Uh, we're not a big fan of, like, the uh, super flat world city kind of look. 
I think that uh, cities that work with the terrain oftentimes uh, end up looking much, much uh, better, at least more natural. You're walk walking through uh, the garden over there. That's nice. Which was originally going to be extended a little bit more, but as you know, we had to kind of cut back. <laughs> And as we go over here, this is the capital of the uh, city. And uh, we call this the Capitol Road because it's very well done. And the obsidian will probably stay. And I'll show you a little Easter egg uh, once we leave the capital. Uh, what happened was, uh, oh man, I fell. The capital uh, soon became too small because we ended up building something bigger. So what Deloaded did is he built an even bigger building behind the uh, original capital. And don't be afraid to like place blocks to get around. You're not gonna be ruining anything for right. this is the throne. We used to keep a bunch of llamas in here. We call it the uh, Council of Llamas. It was kind of cool because <laughs> you had to lure them in over the bridge and they go perfectly. We uh, learned that llamas fit through uh, two by two or two by one uh, holes, which is kind of interesting. Let's see if I can. Are you done? We're gonna head over this way if we can. So do you have access to free cam? Yeah. Perfect. So if we go underneath the uh, Capitol Road over here, uh, I started a little mini project of building a sewer system and we didn't get very far but uh, we had plans to uh, make this go all the way over to the void hall oh that's nice yeah one thing that uh, we take into consideration too is if and we thought that uh, if the city ever got griefed the sewers would probably be the only thing that would uh, still stand just because people wouldn't know about them well, somebody will come here and. Well, yeah. Now, now it's out there. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> no worries there. No worries. How many guys? Uh, how many people were working here? Uh -huh. I want to say about eight, nine, maybe about ten. There were a lot of people that were uh, trying to get here fairly uh, consistently but we're never quite able to uh, make it due to the length, the journey, or dying too many times on the way over. Uh -huh. uh, one prominent uh, person that was uh, on his way over was Autopia, and we were very excited to base with them. Uh, this well over here, if you throw your uh, trash items into it, it gets carried down and it moves through a water stream system and it ends up going into the uh, void hall. We'll show you that in just a little bit though. If we go up here, we're going to start making our way over to the town square that we like to call it. We call it the town square because it was the first part of the city that was ever built. Bubba J did a real job <laughs> yeah. in this area. But, you know, I mean, the city looks at least presentable. And you can kind of tell where things are. Some things were completely, uh, you know, burnt down and destroyed. One kind of funny thing that uh, Bubba J did before he started griefing was right at Town Square, he placed a bunch of uh, gold blocks and called it uh, Aureus Fake Gold. <laughs> I, 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 we're pretty sure it was him because none of us know where the fuck it came from and it, it's, it's odd. Makes no sense. <laughs> it's kind of funny though humorous let's see if we make our way up over here we have this uh, kind of cool looking tower building that you've probably uh, seen and I'm actually um, surprised at the shape that it's in this used to uh, spring about uh, a couple different beacons and this was where our name wall is or it used, at least used to be this is where uh, somebody actually got some pretty good crystals out on Bubba J while he was uh, in here. I see yeah, that. Yeah, because of the uh, obsidian. Yeah. 
Let's see. There's one little uh, cool little Easter egg that I think still exists. If I'm, yeah, he didn't touch this house at all, and I put a nice little thing over here. So when the the Dawn Fuhrer was first founded, we made a couple of cool little things. If we go inside this car, oh no, it's totally gone. Oh, <laughs> I go inside the <laughs> hole, and then there's like nothing inside here. There used to be uh, a sign in there, and there's a couple little um, pieces of. Uh, crop that would say something a single rose can light up my garden a single friend my whole entire world and i thought that was kind of cute nice oh you, it's funny you didn't even bother to look over here <laughs> it's just wrecked yeah and you know it's almost like the city is so huge that it's difficult to grief the entire thing extensively it, yeah it's really and spread so, out I'm sure he had to kind of pick and choose uh, what he wanted to grief. Let's head over to the uh, mycelium area. So originally uh, we made this huge dirt platform. This was actually a couple of days ago. And uh, the plan was to make it so that uh, you could use the uh, terrain to take pictures on because we made it ourselves. And one of our members thought it would be funny to put a mycelium uh, over uh, one of the pieces of dirt. And I guess the rest kind of spread oh, yeah. around and hit everything sense. to the point where it uh, became a little bit unstoppable. But these were uh, two buildings that we were going to kind of combine in the middle to make this kind of big uh, gatehouse. Deloaded okay. built the one on the right. And he said, I don't want to build the other one. You guys did. <laughs> and so that's what we did. Let's see, if we make our way through here, we'll be heading over to the southern region. There's a northern region and a southern region. One thing that I uh, really like about uh, the kind of style is uh, the types of roads that are used because I think the detail that can be found just in the road itself. Uh, you can tell from the road how rich a specific part of the city is or how much it's traveled. And this is a kind of poor, kind of a really used up kind of a road. And uh, the oak fences are kind of a easy material. And if you ever see like cobble walls, that's a more kind of a rich kind of vibe that you get from the road. So there's a lot of attention uh, to detail done. This used to be the Greenwell Inn. And uh, well, it's not much of a, anything anymore, I suppose. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, that's really what like the life cycle is on 2B, you know? Oh, yeah. Build and destroyed. I know that you know that personally. <laughs> yep. I mean, he, here's where the wall is that I was talking about that is pretty much intact, except for right where Bubba J left. Yeah. Yeah. We were trying to basically destroy or kill Bubba J for like a good like hour, but it's hard to do that when you've got gaps and you're just kind of flying around. There's almost nothing that can be done. Right. He He's just moving too quick, running through, placing TNT and igniting it and taking off. At one point we got his armor pretty low and he got out bottles of enchanting and started Flashing him on our uh, on himself, and so we thought that that was kind of uh, interesting. Just analyzing his style of PvP alone, because I would have never thought to do that or even think. One thing that we really uh, made sure to do is make sure that we didn't put any valuables on display for people to see, so that when you got here, there's only like builds and whatnot right and we make it you know thematic there's a theme and if you were to build something that wasn't uh you know medieval deloaded would just probably burn it down or <laughs> do something yeah. i know that one firsthand <laughs> this is the like uh kind of mountainy area that we worked on a little bit if we head down over here this is what used to be the armory and we call it the armory because that's what we say it was for, but there is nothing, there is no armor stored in here because, again, we didn't want anybody to be able to 
loot the place. But uh, you'll see that it has kind of the same style as the Capitol Road and the Imperial Building. That's the one with that we had our names on uh, originally. Had the kind of the same obsidian uh, layout, I suppose. Did we already hit up Town Square? Yeah, I. That's uh, right above the farm, correct? Uh, yes. Yes. All right, then let's go over to Main Street. You have to have different names for things so that you can meet people in different areas of the city, and it's just accurate to what a city would have too, I suppose. Oh yeah, I mean, especially this one. This one's just huge, so spread out. Yeah, it's big, and it's built only in a month. You know, like uh, when we uh, originally settled here, we were just super excited with all of the uh, terrain that was available. Main Street, by the way. Because there's just so much possibility, and we knew that we wanted to expand, you know, as much as we could. Over here, we have the uh, tombs. This is a really kind of interesting part of the city. And it's almost mostly untouched, not completely. We were actually uh, fighting uh, Bubba over this uh, hole here. And if you look down, some of those pieces of bedrock are missing. And if you fall through, you can go right down into the void. Did you remove it with the, uh, the piston method? Yes. OK. Yeah. I was the, uh... in my base. I was actually going to create like a you know, Game of Thrones, the moon door. I was actually going to create one of those. Mm -hmm. but... We like to uh, consider this like the 300, like this is Sparta hole. Oh, oh, that... A couple of items are coming down through the sewer system. I don't know if you're catching that. Yeah, I just saw that. I think that's the one I threw earlier. Yeah, yeah. so those are coming down now. And those actually do drop into the uh, middle hole, I do believe. Um, right. One more block and they would have been. But all I got to do is put a couple of blocks up and they'll slide right in. Yeah, it was a work in progress. <laughs> Uh, oh, it, man, it, I was planning on finishing it literally tonight because Optopia was supposed to be here Sunday. It yeah, was... we wanted to impress Optopia. So, you know, we consider this right here at least like the holes in the bedrock and ungriefable, you know, part of the base. I mean, that's a lot of bedrock down to remove. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of bedrock. It takes a really long time just to get rid of one. I think yeah, we okay. have maybe one or two more areas of interest to show you. Okay. And then I think that we should be good. These are all original uh, designs by We didn't use any external uh, programs to make it. They weren't built in creative first or anything. He just kind of went with the flow on what he wanted to do at that specific time. This used to be the museum. And we had basically all of the artwork in the uh, game here, for the most part, missing maybe a few pieces here or there. Today, uh, Goodwill actually came over to base with us, and he was only here for a day, unfortunately, because the place did get grieved. Goodwill is the creator of the 3x3 three three, um, painting. Let's see. I want to take you over to the monastery. And the monastery was kind of based on uh, like Tibetan monks because they kind of like to uh, live way out there and into the mountains, you know. I'm not sure, to be honest, how much of this is still intact because I haven't seen it since uh, Bubba Jay did griefing. Yeah, yeah it did, uh, he did a good number on it. I'm, yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure if there's even a monastery left, but we can this take a look. This is where I uh, found him when uh, I had logged in after I had went to dinner. I found him up here on the mountain. Yeah, we didn't really try to stop him too much because we figured that, you know, if you knew where the cords were, there's nothing to stop him from coming back when we're offline, so you might as well just have a good laugh at it while he's uh, doing it. And I think that's a good, uh, you know, kind of... I was actually kind of exchanging jokes with them here or there. Um, 
the entire time he was blowing up our base. <laughs> Before he left, I made sure to give him a copy of my book. And, uh, yeah. I tried to get him to sign one, <laughs> but uh, Bubba J pulled him. Hold it on me, and he just took took the book completely. <laughs> but that's okay. We used to call this uh, the greatest uh, view on the server. There used to be a nice little window over here, overlooking uh, the entire city. And depending on how much you got rendered in, you could either get a pretty good view or maybe like a semi decent one. Yeah, it's a really nice view up here. Yeah, it's really nice. And you can still kind of tell like what all the buildings are. And if you're far enough, it almost looks like not much has happened to it, <laughs> perhaps. But uh, yeah. And then if you'd like to free cam down, there's a bunch of like secret rooms in these, uh, in this mountain the kind of area. Uh, oh yeah. That we made. We just got like a, there's like a little watery kind of area. I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff. We kind of we kind of try to make this place have like a mystical kind of vibe, going again with the uh, Tibetan monk kind of feel, and we make this uh, big like obsidian kind of spire, and that was the other place with the beacon light. One uh, thing that I've learned from uh, Deloaded about uh, building cities in particular is that you don't want to have too many beacon lights, otherwise you kind of obstruct the view and you uh, take out the importance of. Um, a specific area. So we made the shore to only include few and made them far away. We had one uh, in the city and we had one over here. It actually still stands. And then, am I forgetting anything, Survivor? Um, I don't think so. I think that's probably it. Okay. Again, the place was founded January, or sorry, uh, December 11th. I appreciate you coming out to do this. Yeah, thanks for the invite. We worked uh, pretty hard on it. We plan to uh, start again somewhere else. Yeah. Well, luckily you guys use mostly stone bricks and blocks. Uh, you weren't using too much of um, rare blocks yeah, to build. the wood is basically gone. Well, I mean, wood's easy to replace. Yeah, it's All a nice place. Blocks here, by the way, they none of them were duped. It was all... We all went off and mined it, grinded everything up, collected everything. This was a post dupe uh, base. Yeah, we took from the land and we put it back onto the land in different spots that looked pretty, basically. Is there is there a mesa nearby? Because I see a lot of the mesa. Yeah, blocks. there's a mesa two thousand blocks away in that direction. We basically took all the red clay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is a nice build. Yeah, thanks again, guys, for the the invite. Mm -hmm. uh, would have been nice for you to see it beforehand, but <laughs> yeah. if only hours earlier. Yeah, I messaged him earlier too, saying, when are you going to tour uh, the tent on Fear or whatever? Couldn't quite uh, do it in time, because I was like, we're going to wait till, uh, you know, I don't, know. I don't even know, but I'm glad that we got it done. Yeah. So once again, I want to thank Survivor Killer and Hermetic Lock for giving me a tour of the 10th Don Fuhrer. Uh, unfortunately, I was a couple hours too late, and like they say that uh, Bubba J griefed it, and they had invited me earlier that day, but I wasn't able to make it out, uh, but when they said that the cords got leaked and it was already griefed, I figured it was, I need to get out there as soon as possible, take a look at it, and then uh, see it before it gets griefed even more. And like uh, Hermetic Lock said, he's going to put a post out with the world download of it pre-grief and when that's out I'm going to link to uh, my video description so you guys can download it too and take a look at it for yourselves. Uh, so once again this is Baron Dome and if you have any questions or comments just leave them below and if you guys are on Twitter uh, subscribe to me because I'm always posting things on there that I don't put on YouTube just kind of uh, things I do in the background while I'm playing 2B2T. So I'll catch you guys later and thanks for watching the video. Bye.